Uh, tell us the latest as regarding Bauchi. Uh, will there be supplementary election in Bauchi? What is the latest now? Well, uh, first of all, let me say thank you for uh, having me. Uh, let's correct an impression. We don't have only six supplementary elections. There are so, those are six governorship uh, elections. There are also uh, several state assembly elections that will be conducted on that same uh, day because some were inconclusive. Don't forget that some of these constituencies are subsumed in the, uh, uh, in the, in the governorship elections as well, but they are separate and distinct and for which a return has to be uh, made after the supplementary elections. But as for Bauchi, I think as we released two statements on Friday, one dealt with River State, the suspension of the elections in Rivers, and Rivers does, as said now, does not have um, a supplementary election. We're just going to conclude the process of coalition. But we do have uh, supplementary elections in several other states. Initially, we had penciled Bauchi down as one of the states for which there will be supplementary election. But as I speak now, quite honestly, we are not sure of that. The coalition officer um, could not continue uh, with her role because of the threats to her life and that of her family. And she was very worried about that. So a new coalition officer will be appointed. And on Tuesday, we'll go back and, con and, and, and correct the uh, error. The error has already been collected, corrected because in one of the things, the cancelled votes were said to be 23,200 and something. But looking through the documents of the investigative committee that when they've now found that, look, there was an error, patent error in the, in the, in the, in the addition. So instead of 23, there are now 2,300 and something cancelled votes in that uh, area. They will conclude the coalition for uh, Regenerate and conclude regenerate, uh, the, the coalition for uh, uh, Tafawa Badewa. And then if there is sufficient votes and, legal, and the, any candidate satisfies the legal requirements, then a return will be made. But if it's found out there are not sufficient votes and there's need for a supplementary election because the margin of lead between the uh, leading candidate and uh, the total number of is such that it will not be up to the total number of regular voters, then there will be a supplementary election in those places where the elections were postponed or cancelled for overvoting. Uh, so in Adamawa State, for example, is that a similar situation in Adamawa State? Because we're already hearing political parties speak about this situation in Adamawa. What is the situation in Adamawa? It's clear. We did not mention Adamawa in our statements. Adamawa are uh, going ahead with uh, the supplementary election in Adamawa. And then uh, the one election, state assembly election, was countermanded because of the death of one of the candidates. We will conduct the election that day. There's absolutely nothing, no, 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 nothing. It's as you were. It's nothing new in on Adamawa. Supplementary election will be held on Saturday, 23rd of March. What about, what about Kano State? What about it? There will be supplementary elections in Kano. We've said so before. Okay, great. So let's move to another, I mean, a contending one that is the issue in, um, um, in River State. Uh, you, you brought out a statement in River State uh, about some of the findings that your commission, uh, the commission that you, uh, the committee you set up. Uh, what is the decision of the commission now about River State? You're going to have to conclude by counting or releasing the collation of results. Or what has the commission decided on River State? Well, her statement on the release on Friday was very clear. I, really, if you read that statement, you'll find all the answers. But for the benefit of those who have not read the statement, River State was suspended. The, the, the process, the whole process was suspended because of certain things uh, which were stated at time of suspension. A fact-finding committee was set up, led by a national commissioner, to go to uh, River State, and they went there in the back. They submitted their report. And they now found that the lots of results of the uh, polling unit results were actually in our custody and are safe. Great. They found out that, I think, in 21 constituencies, declarations have been made. And that's the end of that. The period return has been made, and um, state assembly seats, fine. But there were... Um, and uh, voting was generally peaceful in most polling units and uh, were satisfied with what was what, what on ground when the fact-finding committee went there. But there are certain areas where voting could not take place, a few areas. And there are also areas where um, everything had been concluded, were going on to collation, and some collated results had been declared, some had not, before the suspension of the exercise. So we'll go back and complete that exercise. And the only um, point of I call it disagreement and due deference to the Leonard Senior Advocate in, in the studios there, was when he said um, in a, that was the Inex opinion about um, uh, soldiers and armed gangs. That wasn't an opinion. That is a fact. 
we interviewed several people that were on ground, both our staff and um, other observers and people that were there. We interviewed them, and the facts were established as far as the committee is concerned. If, you, if it comes to litigation, maybe we'll have to reestablish those facts in court. But as far as the committee was concerned, facts were established that armed gangs overrode many places and the soldier was shot. But at the same time, soldiers as well took over the process. They, 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 they overstepped their constitutional responsibilities and their bounds. And we said, no, that cannot be. So we welcome the statement of the army that is going to look into that uh, river state and all other states where this occurred. And I'm sure those who um, established the facts with our committee will be prepared, if invited, to, um, to, 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 to give evidence of, as to what, what they saw and what occurred in their, in their especially collation centers. Collation centers were invaded in some, by armed gangs in some instances, and in other instances by some soldiers. There was no, no doubt, no dispute about, about that, no more than men in uniform. Yes, some men were in uniform. So that is what um, we're going to go back, and we did say in the statement that we'll engage the, 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 the military hierarchy, especially the army hierarchy in Abuja, and um, talk to their people, engage them, and um, I'm happy they have kept on reestablishing the fact that they have a constitutional role to play. They will stick to professionalism and play that role. So that's part of what the engagement will be uh, about early in the week before going back to conclude that process. And we hope that security will be uh, well, well, well established there and they will perform all their constitutional uh, uh, roles and stick only to those roles and be professional throughout. So that INEC is the body charged by the constitution to conduct the election, count the votes, collect the votes, and announce the results. No other person or authority has that power, has that responsibility, and none should interfere with the process.